Just yesterday, this engine failed in mid-flight. Now repaired, the crew and cargo are ready to go. Their urgent destination is Fort Good Hope, a town that's main store was ravaged by fire just a day earlier. It was the major source of food and supplies for an isolated population of 600. We were the only source of you know, supplies going in and out of any size. And obviously a lot of the town supplies and food and household items burnt up and were non-existent anymore. AJ, fresh off his nerve-wracking flight in the Haney Butte, will pilot this mission as well. For about 250 miles, it's a smooth flight. Then, We got the fire warning light flickering on number one engine. All of a sudden, everybody's wide awake trying to see why this big buzzer's going off. There are two massive tanks of aviation fuel in each wing. And with engines suspended on each wing, an engine fire is as serious as it gets. If it gets into the fuel system, then I mean, there's, you know, about 4,000 pounds of fuel on each side of, uh, of the airplane, so. If it can get past that far wall, if you allow it to advance that far, then you haven't really got too much of a, of a chance. If you let the fire get away from yourself, you're going to burn the wing off. And while well, you're flying around, you know, you're 4,000 feet up and you've now lost one of your wings, uh, that could be a bad day. AJ and the crew know exactly what they're supposed to do. Cut off fuel to the specified engine and isolate any fire before it can spread back to the fuel tanks. If a fire is allowed to spread and those tanks ignite, the explosion could blow the 46 right out of the sky. 